Growing up, I used to visit Mexico, but when I really fell in love was when I visited Querétaro in 2019. That's when I knew I wanted to move down here. I'm a part of a reverse migration of people that are moving to Mexico and other lower cost countries to achieve the American dream. My name is Isaac Galvan. I'm 23 years old. I moved from Puerto to Texas to Querétaro, Mexico, and I live on about $1,400 a month. Growing up in Lufkin, Texas, it wasn't that exciting. In the US, my stepdad is a combo welder and my mom is a stay-at-home mom. Since my stepdad's a combo welder, he was trying to get me to learn how to weld and trying to get me in the refinery field. And when I was 18 and 19 years old, I did work in the refineries as a pipe fitter helper, but that line of work wasn't really for me. When I was living in San Antonio, Texas, I was working two jobs that paid $10 an hour each. I was living paycheck to paycheck. I've always had the dream of working online and be able to move abroad and work remotely. So I researched what skills I could learn and I came across web development and that's when I started to teach myself how to code and now I currently work as a web developer. I found my job on a Mexican job site board. They were looking for someone based in Mexico, but I applied and I told them that, you know, currently I was in Texas, but my goal was to move to Mexico. And, you know, I got the job. Two, three months later of saving, I moved to Mexico. So my biggest charges here in Mexico is my rent and my car payment, which combined is much less than what I used to pay in San Antonio, Texas, living with a roommate. The cost of living in Mexico is much more cheaper than the US. You know, rent is cheaper, the cost of food is cheaper, entertainment is cheaper. For example, a movie ticket here costs you two to three US dollars, and in the US it's about 15 US dollars. On average, I spend around 110 US dollars a month on groceries. I spend about eight dollars a day on food because I eat out a lot. For comparison, a typical Mexican meal like tacos or a typical like Mexican food will cost you around you know, three, four US dollars. And to go out to a restaurant, including drinks, is around 10 to 15 US dollars. I save about 400 US dollars a month, and I hope that I can be able to chip off my debt over the next years. So I currently make 12 US dollars an hour. 12 dollars an hour here in Mexico does get you pretty far. Based on the amount I earn right now and, and my cost of living, it, it is easier to either save or, or pay down my debt. But right now I am pushing more towards my savings. So my startup cost when moving here was my flight, which was around $211. I spent four days in an Airbnb, which was about $134. My first month's rent and my deposit here came out to a total of about $750 US dollars. Getting my feet off the ground here was much easier than I expected. I have my dual citizenship from my mom, which I applied for earlier in 2021, but it was much easier than I thought it was. I just needed my parents' birth certificate and IDs. The challenges for me living here in Mexico for the first time, living abroad, was opening a Mexican bank account, getting my Mexican driver license, getting my, my Mexican voting ID, getting a car, which was a much lengthier process than what I am used to in the US. In the US, you could get a car same day. Here, it took me almost two months. I feel more fulfilled here in Mexico because I don't have the pressure of having to earn a lot of money in order to survive, in order to live on my own. You know, I am much less worried about money now and I do feel more satisfied with where I am. So the reason why I decided to move to Querétaro was because it's a clean city, it's a safe city, and I have some family down here, so I wanted a, a soft landing, and you know, ultimately I wanted to connect you know, to my roots, to my Mexican heritage, and learn more about my own culture. 
So I feel more connected to my, my Mexican culture now living down here in Mexico than living in, in Texas. There's much more of a rich Mexican culture and this is the, the experience that I wanted. This is what I wanted to connect to. People here are much more warm, they're welcoming. You know, it's much easier to make friends. My parents have been supportive of my move. I didn't really have to fight them on, on moving to Mexico. I've been slowly planning it in their head for like over like a year or two. Ever since we visited Querétaro in 2019, like I told them, I'm going to move to Mexico. And then slowly over the years, like it just been planning it, planning it, planning it in their heads. And by the time, you know, it happened, I didn't take them by surprise. They're happy for me to finally fly out the nest and start my own life.